So today's a fun one. Paddled from uh, Rice Creek out to Jug Lake through Bayou Jasmine's where I'm at now. Come with a buddy of mine and we are doing a small little grinnel tournament. It's based on length. I'm gonna be getting some pictures of them with an identifier. For this tournament you have to use artificial bait so we're gonna be using plastic worms to try to catch them. The tide was up going into Jug this morning so it was a pretty easy float in. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt if the tide's low. But pretty easy today, but we're getting back in jug and we're gonna go about mid lake before we get started. We're gonna be starting out with a six inch blackberry flavored jelly worm, man's jelly worm. The action was pretty slow for mid lake. Um, I'm all the way in the back now. I've started getting a few bumps, but I haven't had any good you know, hook set, fish on, connects. I've just kind of had some connects where they bite and I set the hook and they pop off. But uh, I'm just taking that jelly worm, shaking it a little bit and then slowly dragging it, slowly reeling it. Just had a bite there, but it let it go. Kind of going to make that same cast and see if that same fish will uh, try to nibble on it again. Sometimes it, it takes two or three casts before they make a really good committal bite. Watch the rod tip here, watch the line. You can see yeah, it pulling that one. rod tip down. Oh, got him. And uh, this is our first good goes. hook up here. Just gonna try to play this guy to the boat, see if we can get him without him thrashing around too much. All right, please don't shake off. Oh yeah. Not big, but he's a first one. Twenty-two inches. Twenty-two? Yeah. So somewhere up through here I switch out that jelly worm to a man's V-worm. It's a discontinued worm that you can't really buy anymore. I only had one pack of them in Red Shad, but it kind of just looks like a double twisty tail worm. And I'm just throwing it out, letting it hit the bottom and swimming it back to the boat. And it's gotten a few little nibbles. Oh, there's one. Oh, it come off again. If you've ever tried to catch Grunel on purpose, it can be a frustrating experience. It's uh, you got to sift through a bunch of bites before you finally get a good hookup. And there you can see a, a backlash or a professional overrun, as they're sometimes called. Yeah, getting them figured out is always the chore. So watch my rod tip. So he bit it, and uh, he's got pressure on it. He's got that rod bent. I'm just watching that line run. He's kind of coming towards the boat, and then boom, I set the hook on him, and it was almost a straight vertical hook set. And that's really the way I like to set the hook on these guys, just yank them straight up. That's the way it seems to hook them the best. And this guy's doing a little bit of acrobatics. He's going wild. These are some crazy fish. That looks like me trying to net. <laughs> 
22.75 gives us 44.75 for the total. Just got another bite. Watch that rod tip. See, oh, there we go. What is he? This doesn't feel like a big rental at all. If it's a rental, I know it's a little bass. A little bass. I forgot to mention this tournament has a bass category. It's just biggest bass takes home, you know, all the money that anybody would pay in bass. So that's a 13.75. Nothing, nothing to get too crazy about, but it does give us a bass for this tournament. And get this guy back in the water. So when I was coming out of this creek here, it's about mid lake, I noticed that I saw my buddy, he had like gone past me kind of towards the entrance exit of the lake and I found out later that he thought I hauled butt out of the lake and left him and there's not really any cell phone service back here or not much of it anyway, it's very spotty so I keep my phone on airplane mode. <clears throat> so at this point I see his kayak on up there and I'm not sure if you can see it or not and I'm thinking that he's just like fishing the bank towards the entrance and I see he just kind of keeps going and going and right now he's about where you would leave the lake and I'm thinking man if I see him leave the lake I'm gonna have to haul butt to try to catch him and uh, so I make it make another cast right here and I'm gonna take my phone out to try to go off airplane mode to see if I can give him a call and wouldn't you know it, I get a darn fish bite. And just about snatches a rod out of my hand and ooh, set the hook with a pretty decent fish. So this guy starts going ballistic. And we're gonna try to get him netted pretty quick. There we go. So that'll be our third Grinnell, third bowfin, 23.5, giving us 68 and a quarter for our total length. And after I fight with this guy, get the picture taken, get him turned loose, now I've got to go try to find my buddy if I can. So I haul butt through Bio Jasmine. And gosh, I feel like I paddled for five or ten minutes and I never could find him. And at one point, I even like try to whistle, whatever good that was going to do. And I call out his name several times and I never could find him, but I got enough cell service at some point in Bio Jasmine that I was able to make contact with him and he decided he was just going to go back to the launch um, since he didn't feel like fighting the current from Bio Jasmine again. So it's kind of a strange happening. So I'm going to turn around in just a minute and head back towards the lake since I made contact with him. Heading back to where I caught my first two fish this morning. Gonna see if I can finish out my five there. I only need two more right now. pretty big one this is my biggest one so far 26 incher puts me at 94 and a quarter for my total to get this guy released get him back in the water I only got one more fish to catch and I'm feeling pretty good Oh, 
All right, there's number five. Let's get this guy in the boat, and we'll have our five fish. Okay, good deal. Seems like he's hooked up pretty good, and golly, he come off right at the dang boat. First you don't succeed, try again. We got number five again. Let's go ahead and get this guy reeled in. Doesn't feel too big. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This fifth fish is tr proving to be quite elusive. Am I ever gonna catch this fifth fish? Urgh. Getting a lot of action. I just gotta, gotta, gotta make it happen. Wish me luck here. So, had I not been editing footage right now, I never would have noticed this butterfly who just kind of lit on my hat. He's just chilling here for a little while, getting a free ride. He's bringing me good mojo, and I'm keeping him from getting eaten. So, he's just hanging out, doing his butterfly business, whatever that may be on my hat. Okay, just throwing out, reeling that worm on the bottom. I got a bite, got a bite. Oh, oh did he get off? Oh my gosh, he got off. How in the world? Butterfly, you failed me. Oh, is he coming back? He thought about it. Maybe I should have been nice. Oh, there we go. Butterfly brought me a fish. Come on, come on, fish. Come on, fish. Is that a grinnel? Please be a grinnel. Please be number five, and please don't come unhooked. And yes! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! We have our fifth fish, and it is getting late and hot outside, and I'm getting tired, and we got our fifth fish. Let's see how long he is. He is 20 inches for a total of 114.25. Let's let this guy go, and I'm feeling good now, so I can finally eat my lunch. I was trying to wait until I got five fish to eat my lunch. After a wee nibble of lunch, I get back to it. And boom, catch another little bass around this little cove here. And he doesn't feel too big. I don't think he's going to be as big as that 13.75, which is kind of a shame. But we'll take him. He's a good little fish. Going to unhook him and get him back in the water. Thanks for the fight, little buddy. Okay, throw in that worm dragging it all around trying to get my upgrade I've got my fifth fish so I'm breathing a little bit easier but hoping for that grinnel upgrade kind of casting out towards the middle because that's where they like to hang out at just dragging that worm shaking it a little bit and I got something bumping bump, bump. oh set the hook did I get him did I get him is it a grinnel it doesn't feel very big if it is all right, oh, it's a bass. Okay, this might be a little upgrade, though, for the bass category. Let's see. Got him in. 15.25. He'll be a little bit bigger, so that works for me. Let's get him back in the water. Swim away, little buddy. Have a good life. Now, this next section, I'm not dragging a worm. I bought a Corrado BFS a couple weeks ago, and this is really my first test test with it. And uh, I'm just kind of perch fishing before I quit for the day. And I'm just hopping a little Bobby Garland on the bottom. Hop, hop, hop. And something took it, and whoop! And this is four pound test uh, Yozuri uh, Hybrid. Grinnell. A little ultralight rod. So, whatever this is, oh, that's a Grinnell. That's bigger than my fifth Grinnell, too. Uh oh. This is uh it's gonna be an interesting little fight here. I'm gonna have to be easy with this guy. He could easily break that line. Let's be so careful. Let's be so careful. I need to let him tire himself out. That way whenever I get him to that net, he doesn't do anything crazy. Uh, there we go. Just letting him tire out. He does not like that net, but we got him. Alright, let's see how big he is. 
20.75 that puts us at 115 inches total so that was pretty cool we caught that guy on ultra light heck yeah all right so i decided to paddle back after that fish this is me just returning through rice creek the tide is like fully dropped out compared to where it was this morning so after i got home got my fish uploaded I had to wait till the next day whenever lines out was it was 12 p.m. the next day I ended up first place with 115 inches second place had a hundred fourteen and a quarter so it was very close that last grinnell that we caught on BFS kind of sealed the deal but this was a very fun trip thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe if you haven't already